Okay, here we are, beautiful morning at the golf club, and you may already have seen some changes being made to the way that our staff are raking the bunkers, trying to make the, the bunkers more playable. I think the general frustration has been that too many golf balls are getting caught in the banks of the bunkers, and really this is down to the way that we rake them, and we have responsibilities as members and obviously pros and staff to maintain it as best as possible. So. Um, two ways to rake a bunker. The traditional way is just to use the forks on the rake here. So just going to give you an example of both ways. So the traditional way would just be to push that sand up and down a bank after you've played your shot. Okay, so if you get a little bit too much sand up that bank, gets a little bit fluffy, the ball's going to struggle to feed its way back into the bunker. So what we're asking you to do is you're going to turn the rake over and we're going to use this on the perimeter of the bunker. So we're just going to push that sand up and down, much, much smoother surface, okay? And hopefully what that's going to do is it's going to form a crust over time. The ball's going to hit into the face of the bunker and then it's going to feed into the flat part. So we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to use a white ball on the area that I've raked and then we're going to use the yellow ball on the back rake part of the bunker and let's see what the difference is. So white ball first of all, throw it into the bank there's a perfect example a little bit too much sand maybe up that bunk a little too fluffy and the ball just sticks in it and plugs that gets very frustrated so I'm gonna now throw the yellow ball into the back right part of the bunker okay so it feeds up, up the bank so it hits that crust and then you can see feeds its way back down into the base of the bunker which is exactly what we're looking to achieve so let me just play that shot if that happens when I'm playing, I'm going to be pretty happy now with that lie, relatively flat stance. And then from there, I could just play a pretty standard bunker shot, hopefully get it up, up and down. So we'd really appreciate your understanding with this. If we can just turn those rakes over on the banks and just smooth that sand out, the bunkers are going to become so much more playable for everyone. Okay, just want to show you also an example around the perimeter of the bunker. So when the uh, golf ball is rolling in, uh, say the edge or the back of a bunker, we want to try and achieve the same result. So I'm going to use the white ball in the raked area here, and then I'm going to use the yellow ball, I'll slightly back rake it, and then let's see the difference. Here's the white ball, first of all, comes into the bunker and sort of sticks into the bank as it rolls down. So on this part of the bunker, I'm just going to turn the rake over and we're just going to push that sand off the bank a little bit, more into the middle of the bunker. Let's see the result that that achieves. Okay, so we can see much more run on with the yellow ball, the ball trying to find its way into the base of the bunker, which is exactly what we're trying to achieve. Thanks for listening. Uh, appreciate your help on trying to achieve it.